What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Goldberg figure. Now, this is an Ultimate Edition that I was not looking forward to, and mine actually arrived super late, as you guys can see here. Took me a while to get this guy in the door. Been out a little bit now, but we are back with an Ultimate Edition review. I never reviewed this figure, so we're going to review it here today, man, but uh, I'm excited to get into it because, I, you know, I have my doubts about the figure, and I'm, I'm excited to see if those things come to fruition, or or if I was just overlooking some stuff, you know, things of that nature. But we're going to get into it. Of course, this is an Amazon exclusive. So if you guys would like to grab this, you can get it from Amazon. Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition figure. I don't know when we're getting another Fan Takeover. I feel like it's been a minute since we have voted on one of these things. Who knows when that's going to come to fruition. But here is your front viewing window of Goldberg. You get your interchangeable heads. You get your body there. Two championships. Ultimate Edition logo down here. Mattel. All the good stuff. On the side, you get an image of Goldberg there. Fan Takeover logo up top. On the back, you get an image of Goldberg there. Another image of the real Goldberg. Goldberg's name here. Fan Takeover logo. You get some info, and then you get the little bio read. If you'd like to read it, pause it now. And then you have your vote down here, which, good God in heaven. Does it really effing matter what look we get? It would have been the same damn figure. On the side, you get Goldberg again. WWE Ultimate Edition logo. And that is pretty much our packaging for this Goldberg figure, man. Pretty standard. You guys know that the Fan Takeover versions are always red with white accents, while the main Ultimate Edition line, the ones that you can find at retail most of the time, the non-store exclusives, the main just straight up Ultimate Edition lines usually have white packaging with red outlines, so there's that, but not a huge Goldberg fan, gonna be honest with you, but let's crack him out of the packaging, find out if I'm wrong, or uh, maybe uh, this thing's just the best thing I've ever seen. All right, man, so here's Goldberg out of the packaging, spinning around as they always do here in the reviews. Lots of things we've seen before, not the most exciting thing I've ever seen, but we do have some things that I want to get into and break down and get my thoughts on. So, of course, we are going to do that. Let's dive into Goldberg's accessories first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the figure itself. All right, man, so getting into Goldberg's accessories, starting out with the head sculpts, man, getting into the first Goldberg head sculpt. I think it favors Goldberg, but I just think it looks a bit off. Like, I think I think the likeness is there. I like the way the eyes look and stuff like that. I just don't like the way it sits on the on the body, I think, is the my biggest thing with it, but that doesn't have anything to do, really, with the likeness. I think it looks like it maybe just a bit skinny in the face. And then you have the Elite 74 re-released head sculpt here, which is just the, ye you know, the yelling head sculpt with the old-school classic beard. I think this looks okay. I think it fits well. I like the sculpt we saw it for a while now it's been out almost 30 series now about 20 series and it's okay it's not the greatest head sculpt of all time but it's not terrible i you know i, I think it's the job done it accomplishes the mission if you will and then you have this one which is very weird it looks like an old man without any teeth kind of and it has this blowing smoke out accessory attachment that looks like some sort of effed up pumpkin i don't know if you guys have ever seen like some weird pumpkins the way they grow sometimes kind of like sun dried and white or like a freaking avocado I, I don't know it just looks weird it looks like a stem of broccoli a little bit but you can port this into Goldberg's mouth if I can you know get it there you port that in there and it's supposed to look like he's blowing out the smoke from his entrance and I just don't think it works I think it looks very weird I don't think that it like I don't know certain angles maybe and I like the idea of it I just don't think the execution's there and the likeness is okay when you have something plugged in there but i think you're better off if somebody could like pour some risen inside there or sculpt inside the mouth and then paint a mouth guard i think you'd be better off with that like having a mouth guard head sculpt because it, it looks like he's biting down on a mouth guard is what that looks like to me right there doesn't it so i guess you could get away with that if you wanted to but it's okay like the lightness is there i just don't think the execution quite landed and it messes it all up but you know decent likeness and it gets the job done i guess without the smoke i'm not a fan of the smoke head sculpt or the smoke accessory just don't really care for it the outside of that you do get two interchangeable chain not interchangeable but two championships you do have the wcw united states championship right here which looks really good i can't remember if this is the exact mold that we saw with the bret hart and goldberg two pack and i don't have that championship right here but i want to say they're the same they may be different but this one looks better to me at least off memory but the side plates look good i like the way all this looks in here I like the sculpt looks really good on the championship plates eagle looks sick i like this a lot actually i think it looks badass i love the wcw logo up here very very cool and then we have a title that we've seen a hundred times before and it is going to be oh my god in heaven where'd the side plate go dude did my cha i think my championship only came with one side plate i don't see it anywhere unless it fell off somewhere 
in the midst of everything. Uh, pretty bummerific. That's insane. Hopefully yours does include both side plates, but I have a world championship here without the side plate. Not the biggest deal because I have like 76 of these, so it's not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lose, I'm not gonna lose sleep tonight because of this, but it is, uh, uh, you know, that does suck, but yeah, I, I just now noticed that. I don't see the side plate anywhere, so I don't know. I guess it just fell off, I, I, or I, I guess it didn't come with one. And then for interchangeable hands, you do have the mic holding slash weapon wielding gloved hands that we've seen multiple times. I think these are new. They may not be. You have the pointing gloved hands. If we've gotten these before, I, it's not coming to my mental mind right now when we got these, but you do have the, you know, your next pointing Goldberg spear hands, sort of, which I like. Nice sculpt on these. And then you have the beloved fisted gloved hands, which actually look really bad. Eh? I like these a lot. And, you know, I, I, I like the fist when they have, like, gloves on. I think, you know, it's something we don't get a ton, so I, I like it when we do get it, but really nice sculpt on these, and I think they did a good job on it, and all of them have black pegs, so that makes the world go around, too. So getting into Goldberg, man, getting into the head sculpt, it's kind of weird, because looking at this figure in promo pics, I didn't like the way the head set on the neck, but here, it's not it's not near as bad, like, from the chest up, I don't think it looks bad, but I think when you step away is where it gets lost, but right here in this shot, actually looks, it doesn't look half bad, I guess. Going down to the torso, I hate this torso, man, it just looks very weird, especially for an Ultimate Edition, like, stepping back, I'm just not a fan of it, you do have the nice chest hair on there, which I do like. You have the double jointed arms. I love that they gave him open elbow pads. We haven't seen these on a guy in forever from Mattel, so seeing them here is nice. They definitely need to do that more often. Iconic shoulder tattoo for Goldberg. You also have the other open knee. You have the other open elbow pad here. You get your gloved hands and gauntlets on there. Plain black trunks. You do have the weird striations on the butterfly joints on the back here with the weird feels. Solid black trunks as always, like we know. And then you got the, you know, semi-decent beefy thighs. You got the open knee pads here. Then you have the kind of skinny calves and you have the Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition. These may be the, the Ultimate... Nah, these aren't Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin legs. You may can put these on a Stone Cold, but this guy on ball joints, he is on ball joints. Would you look at that right there? But this is the boots. This is not the calves, even though you probably could put these on, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin if you wanted to. Figure can pose around pretty decent. He's got a decent kick forward as you guys can see. His split's decent because he's on ball joints, but you get the double thigh cut or double joint knee you get the thigh cut boot rotation toe articulation you guys know the ab crunch is kind of suspect but you got your butterfly joint in there that's pretty decent you can reach all the way back and you can pop the shoulders out which doesn't really matter for guys like goldberg and you know anybody that doesn't have interchangeable arms or anything like that elbow pads kind of fall off there but i don't know you know it gets the it gets the goldberg job done i guess it's just not the most exciting figure but getting into figure comparisons you have all our different goldbergs here now one thing that is weird is I do not know what happened to my Goldberg entrance greats figure. I think I used it on surgery or something like that. May have to rebuild that figure. But you do have my little custom right here that I got way back when he returned. I think in 2017. And I like this formula better. It's like the Hillbilly Gym formula. It just gives him a lot, you know, it just makes him a lot bigger, I think, and gets the job done, you know, compared to this right here. And it makes him, like, bigger. I don't know. Like, look at this right here. The heights are virtually the same, but this right here just gives you a better look. It's just like more realistic and it looks better in my opinion. It's not as jacked and just overly massive. But you have the Raw Main Event Ring. You have the Top Talents. I think one of these also, ca I can't even remember where I we got the other one. Because it wasn't in the main Elite line, I don't think. But you have the Ultimate Edition. You have the Elite 74. Or maybe this is the 2-pack. I think this is the 2-pack. This is the Elite 74 with a different head sculpt is what that is maybe. The WrestleMania 20 look or the 2003 look. I don't freaking know. All virtually the same figure. But yeah, we have the Ultimate Edition Goldberg right here. Not my favorite release ever for sure, but I don't know. Maybe it's not nearly as bad as I was expecting coming into this review. But I think that just about wraps up this WWE Ultimate Edition Goldberg action figure review, man. Is this the worst Ultimate Edition figure we have seen so far? It's definitely up there. It's hard to say. You know, I don't have all of them sitting by me. I think the Edge figure was really atrocious. I think that there are some pretty terrible releases in the Ultimate Edition line, but I'd probably put it in my top five. It's in my top five worst Ultimate Editions we've seen so far. I just don't think there was a lot of things you could do differently from the Elites, you know, which we saw in this video. I don't think that it's just a masterclass figure. I think that they could have included some different things. I like some things about the figure. I don't like the way the torso to head ratio looks in, in some aspects. I think they make Goldberg a little bit too small. In certain instances, you guys saw my custom. I think that's a lot better formula for Goldberg. I don't know, man. It's just not my favorite. I think that, you know, back in the 90s, Goldberg had a lot more. I, I loved Goldberg when I was a kid. But then you kind of grow up and learn.
learn. Just kind of a one-trick pony. I know it's not all his fault, you know. That's besides the point. It's just an action figure, but you guys get the... You get, you get where I'm coming from. Nonetheless, man, not my favorite Ultimate Edition. I think you get some cool things here and there, but I think if you have any of the other Elites and you're not an Ultimate Edition completionist and you don't care about the championships, don't really care for the smoking head sculpt, I think it was a, a cool idea to try. I think the execution kind of lacked there, but anyways, before we get out of here, man, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out's gonna go to Large Bow. It says, from the top countertop to the bottom countertop from the top, a tier commentary, or a tier commentary. And I thought that was great because me and my brother and dad were laughing about that when we were talking about it and I said should I say like it, it's funny because you say countertop so many times in fluctuation right there or so many times back to back to back it had us rolling so I, it's good to know that other people found that funny but anyways man huge shout out to Large Bo for the comment hope you guys did enjoy the video leave me your thoughts on this Goldberg down in the comment section below do you guys own this do you think there's enough here for other people or do you think it's crap I'm getting out of here thank you for watching have a blessed one I'll see you guys next time you cross the line I've been